gone. They waited through the chest high waters with their hounds. Not quite. There are a number of items to be found in this area. I, lo I love I love the lighting in this game. It is very good. It is. I think um, Chaos Theory will always set the bar for lighting for me. What, what Splinter Cell? Yeah. Okay. I've, not, I've, I've never played that. I would definitely give it a shot. Now, there's a lot of, like, you know, a lot of vertical areas you can get up to. Oop. There we go. There, you can climb up here. And... Oh, I landed right on the barbed wire! No. Not good. Luckily, it doesn't get you caught up. Yeah, and it didn't do too much damage. I've also accidentally landed on, like, spikes on top of, like, posts and things like that. Some of those hurt more. Oh! Thrill as I failed to jump. Like I said, I am not that good at this game. <laughs> but it didn't seem bad enough to... One more for old time's sake, maybe. And now here we go. Here's the way I don't have to do the. Do, I don't have to jump. There we go. This is it the lazier man's way? <laughs> well, not so much lazy as unskilled. Another kind of nice thing about the blink power is that if you're not into like jumping and platforming that much. You can basically get around without ever without having to do much actual like leaping or whatever. Yeah. It's like you can like sort of like you can you can activate use blink and you know where you're gonna end up. But there's some guys down there. Ah. There he goes. Nicely done. Now you can hear that that noise that <laughs> noise in the. Oh, that that the, I don't know what the hell I was doing. But you hear the, the the room sound. <laughs> yeah. And again, if you may notice some slight discontinuities where I reloaded after being killed. Oh, right up the ear canal. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like you got him in the neck. When none had ever trespassed the ear canal. You. Right. Oh, there comes another guy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh! Man. I just killed his dog. That dog sold that crossbow bolt. It, it so did! Hard. He went fucking flying. I crossbowed the hell out of that dog. All right, bend time. It slows time for a short duration. Level two completely stops time for a shorter duration. I move at normal speed the whole time. So, this is definitely handy. Especially if you want to stop a guy before he hits the alarm, say. Oh, right in the ass. Bolt after bolt until he learns to stay down. Yep. So now I'm like a steampunk version of Jet Li in the one, essentially. I don't think Jet Li in the one could blink. Well, he could move it in hu at superhuman speed. That's true. But he could do this, the time thing. Yeah. And he was nobody's bitch. That can't be overestimated. Overstated. Never. All righty. Groups, when there's, you know, groups together, 
The grenades in this are, like, really easy to use, I have to say. There's some games where grenades are a huge pain in the ass. Not in this one. Uh-oh. The dog found the bodies. Whatever shall be done. Let's head over this way. See what's over this direction. Bone charm not far away. Beats faster, and faster. Ooh, tripwire. Who would do that? What? Place a tripwire right at the edge of those. Well, it stops like burglars trying to get in through the window, presumably. It would be incredibly difficult. What to It'd get be up there? So difficult to get up there. Well, in the first place. it's based on on my antics. It seems the problem is that they were not paranoid enough. So. That's true. Yeah, you can you can hear it. You can hear it humming away down there. And that heart is going nuts there. Grab hold of the chain. And oh, look down there. That is a lot of rats. Oh dear. I was going to ask what a bone charm would be doing over here, but I suppose now I know. Actually, there's a little note that explains it. Oh. Ba basically, uh, it's the upshot of it is that this is a facility where the overseers grind, grind up and destroy bone charms they've confiscated. So that's why there's still there's so there's still an intact one that they hadn't done yet. Very responsive to noise. The bone charm situation. Extra from a report to the officer of the High Overseer by High Overseer Gerard. I was asked, should we not tolerate the possession of simple bone charms among the populace? Surely this is a trivial matter, merely a cultural practice seen across the aisles. Not as terrible as the creation and coveting of more complex occult runes. Such an insidious question. This foolish distinction weakens our mission while the stench of the outsider grows thick around us. Perhaps, as some claim, our ancestors tolerated these cursed practices during the times before our modern empire arose, to ease the lives of the lowliest serfs as they paved the road to civilization. But there is no excuse for witchery in this brighter industrial age. Having adjudicated the trials of many heretics myself, I swear that their eyes, as the clarity of pain took their lives, were grateful to be liberated. So, yeah, they... It seems like this religion's all about telling you stuff you can't do. Yes. Well, so... That's not unknown among religions, Nick. Yeah. But, I don't know, yeah, basically the, the, the Abbey of the Everyman seems to see all of existence as a grim... Desperate struggle against the uh, not letting the outsider fuck you over, basically. Oh, I would not want to have to reach into that. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Whirlwind, your swords. You swing your sword slightly faster. That sounds pretty sweet. I think somebody described you as a whirlwind. Yes, yeah, so they did. But I, currently, I can only equip three at a time, so I have to unequip one. You can expand your bone charm capacity by buying upgrades from Piero. Hmm. Now to get out of here. And so why are you just, like, not have enough fingers? Pardon? You just not have enough fingers or something to carry enough bone charms? I don't think they're. I don't think they're on your fingers. I think they're like like into your clothes or something. Oh. You just need enough like spots on your clothes to contain like pockets or whatever. I don't think they ever really specify precisely. Ah. I got quite a few. You see all those stains down there? Yeah, just because. Why not? Pretty much. 
that's the t spirit I tried to take to this game, this playthrough of the game in, you know. Why the hell not? I don't need to kill those things, but... Okay. You don't need to not, not kill those things. Exactly. I think. I. Reverse psychology. I'm too distracted to parse your multiple negatives at the moment. <laughs> but now back to this area. So stuff just pops up in your dark vision when you come near it. Yeah. It's actually... Oh. You can actually, with the naked eye, you can see... You can see enemies before they would appear in your dark vision. But the dark vision... But the dark vision highlights them. And lets you see through walls. There is a sheen that most of your items that you can pick up has. I think that's more of a modern gameplay thing, though. Well, like I said, with the upgraded dark vision, you actually it will make uh, pick upable items glow, like glow on your dark vision as well. Now, mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time wandering around like an idiot trying to figure out how to get that rune, forgetting the fact that up on the roof you can smash through those skylights and just come in that way. And did you leave that in? Uh, not most of it, no. There's some, there's some, there's some shame's too deep. <laughs> okay, now here's some interesting notes. Oh, here's, look at you, trying to conceal from your brothers in the Order. That is an example of a difference between a high chaos and a low chaos playthrough. He was sick. Very, very sick. That much I'm sure. If you're if you're in the low Oh and I missed. If you're playing the low chaos version of this mission. If you're playing the low chaos version of this mission, the guy actually comes to his the other overseers and tells them that he's sick and he wants them to kill him before he spreads the disease, right? Mm. And they're, like, very nice to him, and they they agree, and, like, he kneels down, and, like, they... Um... They ba and he basically, basically kneels down, and they basically, like, they, like, pray with him, and then one of them, like, like, kills him with a quick, like, thrust to the throat or something. And it's actually... It's actually kind of, uh... Kind of touching, actually in the low chaos playthrough. I mean, you can see, like, the, you know, they're friends, they, you know, they, they clearly care about each other, and this, and the one guy, he's willing, he wants, he wants to die rather than risk spreading the disease to the others. And the others, you know, they, they don't, they want to help him, you know, they, they don't, they don't want him to suffer, basically. Whereas in the high chaos playthrough, it's, you know, not, it's a lot nastier. These are just little notes about some guy wants some sort of apprenticeship with the, with the artificier or whatever, writing various drafts of his notes. Interesting. But yeah, like, the, the high chaos, low chaos thing, it, it affects things in, like, obvious ways, like there being more guards, but also in subtle ways. It's like just... On higher, cha on higher chaos, people in general are just nastier. You know? Yeah. So on low chaos, you get, like, this... This rather, you know, touching scene of, like, you know, friendship and this guy sa and sacrifice, whereas in high chaos, it's just these guys turning on each other and killing each other. <laughs> Either way, they all end up dead. Well, no, in low chaos, after they killed that one guy, I just knocked the others unconscious. Oh. Because, hence low chaos. All right, we've already seen this. Yeah, in low chaos, you don't get that many opportunities to sp spray, you know, send body parts flying in torrents, like with a grenade. But yeah, that's one of the things I like about this game. It's sort of like the... The nasty... Like, how nasty you are kind of is reflected in the, how nasty the world around you is. I mean, the world is still pretty grim and low chaos, but there's... It's not as grim. Um... And here's a bunch of scrolls. These 
basically relate to um, basically some stuff like this one. You know, talk about you know some guy that you know flee with your sister. Remember the guy we met outside? Mm-hmm. Oh, here's one. Dear Harold, we don't generally do this, but I came across a letter your parents were sent when you were first taken to White Cliff. Remember that we have. Remember that we have rules in place to spare you the, the decision of trying to c- make contact with them. We can no longer walk among those we seek to protect. So remember that discussion about, you know, that guy when he went to see his brother, or tried to find his yeah. brother, and he never saw him again? Once you're taken away by the overseers, you never see your family again. Oh. But if you would at least read this letter to him, though your motives may be just, we know he's probably scared right now, and we are unable to be there for him. Son, we miss you. We're so, car- so- we're so sorry we can't come to you now and take you from wherever they've stolen you away. Be strong, son. We know you will see your way through. Please remember us and try to find us when you're free. We love you, Mama and Papa. So there's, there's, actually, there's actually another a number of nice kind of interesting things in this area that kind of humanizes the overseers. Cause, I mean, they're literally faceless when you encounter them. But stuff like that, I mean, what, last night. Wyndham, last night was wonderful. I am right at this moment imagining your arms around me and your breath on my neck. I feared for our lives when your fellow overseers found us, but you proved resourceful as always. And no, I won't take your slurs and threats personally, for I know you are merely trying to throw off any suspicions they might have had of us. I hope to see you again soon, perhaps in two nights when you leave once more. Darian. Letter from presumably the secret lover of one of these overseers. Mm-hmm. Like I said, again, you know, they're they're little just little little bits and pieces of stuff that humanizes them behind the masks. Final warning. Come to my attention that you know where my sanctum is. If I catch you loitering by the statue of Holger again, hoping to run into and perhaps liaise with one of my guests, I'll have you branded a heretic and cast out of the city. And that was that was from the overseer. Remember those two guys who were like sneaking into his place, presu- presumably after his porn stash or something. Yeah. There's someone. Oh, and his dog. His little dog, too. <laughs> Luckily, I have one grenade left. Oh! Down they go. Oh, and down goes all that wood. Well, they went together, at least. Ooh, there's another one still, still amongst the living. Corvo can't have that. Oh, it's in- just instantly. Ooh. You know, it's 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 even worse when you consider, considering that was just like a blow to the back of the torso. He's probably not actually dead yet. As they devour him. So you can't sign, sound an alarm on yourself, can you? I don't think so. You can only disable the alarm. This is a door I just went through because I didn't realize it just took me back to where I was.